Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Dwarf Forest Adventure Mode. In the last one, I um, replenished my ranks with uh, a lot of like randomly named people like Lashy the Lash Armist, I've Stabby, Crush Your Skull, and I've got some Spearman and Crossbowmen. So, I didn't actually get any names to name them with, so I may as well... Um, Let's say he's a spearman, so Pokey McPokerton. Sounds good enough to me. And crossbowman. Pew pew. Right, so everyone has a name now. Apart from the drunk, but he doesn't really need introduction. Right, so I'm drowsy. Did I sleep at the end of the last episode? I'm not sure if I did. How many people do I have? I've got all 19. Right, so I'll speak to Lord Fancy Pants. And permission to stay for a day. And sleep until dawn. Yeah, I must have slept already. That's basically a full day, but me person was complaining about being drowsy. Not drowsy anymore, are you? Right, so let's have a look, see what a quest I have. The Fin of Skies. Kill him, kill him, kill... Wait, that's why. I was wondering why it was just jump between the top and bottom ones, but I was pressing the button that makes it do that. Obviously. It's not going to be doing it just because it feels like it. <laughs> Um so I can seek Esme as me fortune descent or kill record you blossom most in the fin of skies. But he's in the middle of fucking nowhere, so I think I'll actually be passing on that opportunity. Well actually if I wait an hour and maybe I well actually Right, so when I know from the last episode that that is the camp that I visited on in episode zero. However, there's a camp there and there's a camp there. So what I could do is I'll travel to there and then I'll head north over the mountains and then I'll head back and then I'll head over to there. That's going to be the plan of action this episode. Right. So far anyway, no doubt we'll bump into something on the way. Which will change that plan. I.e. by killing us. And there's a... Oh, I was going to say there's a roach, but it decided to hide. Clever roach. Right. So there's a fucking mountain there. And head... Let's see. I need to get heading north. You can't be drowsy already, man. Bloody hell. Right. Sleep here. To be honest, that's about a day's journey away, so I'd have to travel back in nighttime conditions. But it's nothing I haven't done before. And there's a swordsman, and I could have recruited him, but no. Puck tired, Garnish. Permission to stay for a day, that's good enough for me. Sleep. And let's head off. Stand up, man. Right. Travel. Oop, I don't want clouds. Right, so I'm assuming there's going to be a mountain in the way. Yes. Right, wait, there's no point wasting time going around it. I may as well just go into the local map and travel over it. Right. I don't know if I'm over it yet. Nope. I really should have like a. Whoa. You're lagging behind a bit. Yo there. A coral. There we go, he's caught up. He must have went off chasing after a goat or something. Make sure that we've not lost anyone. Nope, all 19 are still present and correct. Let's see, can I get rid of this fucking goblin yet? Capital 
Last me when I return my home. I wander the wilds. I have taken down one saltwater crocodile while stalking the mire of Shielden. Very nice. Let's see, what if I was to talk to... Let's see, who's been with us a long time? Blood forts and air chicken. Profession, I wander the wilds. I've taken down one giant desert scorpion. Is that it? I'm sure he's killed more. But, mm, apparently not. And air chicken. Air chicken should have a lot of people to reel off. Two wolves. It is I that felt Ushav tricks God the human. It's I that felt patch blah 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 blah. Right. So, yes, we know how amazing he is at killing things. Are we over this fucking mountain yet? No. Ah! I hate mountains. Like, I don't get why you can travel over them in, like, the local map, but you can't travel over them in the fast travel map. Right, well, he has the camp anyway. Here goes nothing. Leroy! Wait, 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 wait. Hold that attack. Get off it. I don't need to see if it's dead. Aha! Ah, yes. Uh, but that still survives. What? What are you doing? Just die! There we go. Thank you. Right, so it's northeast. So it's in this direction. I am Sekel. Camp Reigns. Prepare to die. Where? Where art thou? Apparently it comes east. Whoa, miss me, misses me. Head. Fair enough. <laughs> oh wait, hammer man. Why hello thou? I'm not going to kick you. I'm going to slash you. And seven dollars lodged firmly in the wound. Twist it around. Hammer man. Head. Jumps away. Where's the hammerman jump to? Oh, there. Ah! Oh, wait. What? Don't think you can run away either. Everything's going on here. What? Where, where are these all people? Wrestler's has been. Oh, look at that. Paradox pulls out and drops the copper short sword. Like a boss. Alright, so we're standing on the camp here. Ah, that's where the people are. Wait, who's that? He's flashing. Alright, that's the... Who'd you call him? The... Chieftain? That's why he's flashing. Sekel Muthiag lost his arm. Lost his, he had his lower arm cut off, then his upper arm cut off. I bet that was fucking painful. <laughs> his right back tooth, a bit of dwarf forest dentistry for you. And let's see what there is. Bronze shield, not arsed. Crutch, not really arsed. Let's see what's inside this chest. Probably now. Note. Copper buckler. Fiber bag and the leather quiver. Speaking of quivers, I forgot to equip that and um, put away the bolts inside that quiver that I got. And I'm carrying far too many coins as well, that's weighing us down a bit. Just a wee bit. I right, put the bolts. I kinda put them in the quiver for some reason, why? Fuck it. Everyone's still here, yep, everyone's visible. So that means everyone's alive. Right, fuck it. Rather than travel back and then come straight back, we're just going to do a two out of force of all these bandit camps. So if I sleep until dawn, hopefully we don't get disturbed by bandits. Nice, and there's the camp. <coughs> so, east. So let us charge. 
And there's some goblins. I've missed you. Goblins spamming. Head. Dead. Goblin rest. Wait, it was the maceman who attacked us. So, maceman, you're about to meet your fucking maker. Twist it around. Goblin maceman. Let's see. Go for his right up our arm. Oh, he's been open. More than nerve has been severed. Stab him, stab him in the upper leg. Flying strikes us in the lower body from behind, bruising the muscle and bruising the gut. Fucking booming. I know who it was as well. I'm going straight after him. Yeah, sod it. I'm going after the booming. I'm feeling sick now because I've been hitting the gut. Go for his left foot. Shot is parried. Whew. Thank God for Iron Helms. Deflected by me boot. Come on, someone help us. I mean, I'm I'm like the leader. When I die, you all die. Oh, I'm wretching. I might have to retreat here. I'm getting swamped here. Shit. And it was that bastard there who shot us. Or might have been that bastard. One of them bastards. <sighs> See, I'm in. Right up at arm. Koro falls over, loses hold of his copper shield and silver maul. What's happened? What's happened to Okoro? It doesn't even say that he's been hit. But he's lost hold of his shield and his sword, so I'm guessing that something bad's happened. Uh, like a strike to the spine or something, because he's paralyzed, I'm guessing. Right, so that Spearman's been struck down. I've been bashed in the arm. Spearman strikes at us. Hammerman strikes at us. Hammerman bashes us in the hand. Hammerman. Oh, let's see. I got head square miss. Look, if someone was to like, sort of come and help us, it would be much appreciated. But even if I go down, I've, st I've still went down fighting. I've managed to take one of the bastards down with us. I'm pretty sure the rest of them will tidy up, even if I do fall. Right, what I need to do is stand up. And that ups me speed a little bit. And... Leader has become enraged. Public Mason's been struck down. And I'm going to go for this booming. I retch, I retch, I retch, I retch. I retch several times in the same turn. Hold on, I'm... Whoa, what? <laughs> well, that's not going to really affect him, is it? The flying copper bolt strikes the drunk in the upper body, tearing the, tearing the liver. Yeah, his liver's probably already shot as shit. It's not going to make a difference. No longer bleeding, which is good. Stop retching, man. You've only taken a... Wait. Where is it? There it is! It's stuck in my right hand. Pull it out. Hell yeah. Like a boss. Right, so I'm there. I'm actually running away from the... Right, so there's a spam in there. I'm going to go for his left lower arm. Shot is blocked. Spearman head. Nope. Let's see, try throw in. Um, I don't know. Boons. Have, have a boon. Alright, I threw all 23 boons at him. What? What? Why did I have to throw all 23 bones? And copper bolt? They're just sitting, sitting over there. Just peppering me with arrows. Bastards. Right, head, miss him. Wait, what was that? Goblin crossbowman's been struck down. Good. 
Hold on, I grab him by the right ear with me arm. Oh, and the drunks bled to death. Well, mate, you're fucked. Wait, who? Goblin Boomin is shot and killed. By what? Alright, flying arrow. Aru, flying iron bolt. Not, I was going to say flying arrow bolt for some reason. Yeah, you can run all you want. Taste. Uh, silver Scourge. Bruising the skin, is that it? I need to get like with the party because that lash is coming down and I probably won't be able to take them on my own. But. Whoa. Alright, he's been killed. Goblin Hammerman's been struck down. And it looks like that's all done. That was quite a fierce battle, if I do say so myself. Does any, did anyone fall? What? Oh, a Koro? When did he die? Oh boy, I th he sort of got paralysed, didn't he? I, I th got paralysed, so he would have suffocated, I imagine. Right, a Koro. You up and not your vomit. Where's your weapon? Where is your weapon? Unless you walked some distance without it, because I know you dropped it. Fine, we'll pick it up your mail shirt and we'll place you over here. Right, Okoro and a mail shirt. And where's this drunkard? There he is. We burn inches. And here's. Let's see, is there no beer I can bury him with? Uh, I'll take his copper slice and knife and bury him with that. It was his weapon of sorts. I do have things left to drop. Fuck off. I've got plenty left to drop. What the hell? Did I just drop a large roach? Oh, what? I've just dropped everything? What? I didn't even know you could do that? <sighs> Fuck. Weapon. None. I've dropped me weapon as well. Fucking yeah, good. Nice fucking idea, you tit. But. Gold coins, I'll take them. I'll not pick up anything other than gold coins. I'll pick up air chicken's right hand so I can bury him whole when he dies. Pick up them gold coins. I think I'll leave all me um, souvenirs as well. Iron arrows, take them. Oh, I can't believe I've, I didn't even realise you could do that. Oh, fuck. But to be honest, my inventory did need sorting out. It's been a long time coming. Right, so I'll take them 86 copper coins. Uh, gold coins, even. Silver warhammer, who's that? Or what is that? I'll take it, it'll do as a fucking good throwing weapon. Um, let's see. 250 gold coins, I'll take them. Alright, gold coins 200, I'll take them as well. And what else? Silver bolts, they'll do as good throwing weapons. Iron arrow, it's only the one, I'm not that arsed about it. Gold coin, copper bolts, there's only two of them again, not asked about it. Bugs Devil, is he still with us, Bugs Devil? I don't think so. Is he? Oh wait, yes he is man. What am I on about? Right. So I'll pick up his tooth. Oh no, that's his upper arm. What? Me, the day, honest to god. Right. I'm guessing there should be 
my scimitar in there as well, seeing as I've got no weapon. Unless I dropped it because I did get hit in the hand, I think. So. Ah, oh, man. I, I saw iron and I was like, ooh. Yeah, I must have dropped it wherever I was. It's an iron bolt. Iron arrow. Iron scimitar. There we go. Right. Remove from container. Iron scimitar. Right, apparently that should be my weapon, but it's still seeing none for some reason. Wear, quiver, wear, loincloth. Inventory. Right. Spat of blood everywhere. That's in my inventory somehow. And. Why aren't I wearing. I did remove it, didn't I? Yeah. I didn't drop it, did I? Oh, what the hell's going on here, man? I can't, I can't be doing with this. This is too much thinking. <laughs> it's not even showing up. What? Have I dropped it? Nope. Hmm. I didn't throw it, did I? Well, there's an iron scimitar there, right? So I'll pick that up. Fuck it. And remove. Iron scimitar. Again, it's not even a weapon. What is that? Zoysia. Is that something that can be trampled on? I don't know. I don't think so. But even still, I've got no friggin' weapon. <laughs> this just isn't functioning properly. Why don't you work? They've just vanished in the thin air. Oh, left hand glove, right hand glove. Right hand mitten, left hand mitten. Nothing. The scimitars just seem to have vanished. So now I am weaponless because this game has decided that I don't deserve weapons. Right, I'll just pick up anything, anything to fucking... Wait, is that the scimitar there? Yes, what? What the hell's going on here, man? Right. Pick up the iron scimitar. Right. So I can't wield it. Make sure that it is actually picked up. Right. And that it's not... Oh, right, I know why. I know why. Because my hand's fucked. And every time I'm trying to take it out, it's, um... Ability to grasp lost. Shit. All I hope is that that heals. Because if not, I am fucked. Ah, shit. Alright, so I'll pick up him. I've got his copper bone and knife, so I'll drop him. Where is he? There he is, S. Right, so that's our companions buried. Say farewell to Okoro and our drunken companion. And also say farewell to my ability to hold weapons. I can't say crush your skull either. No, I can. Right. Ah, oh, I really do hope that heals. Hey, ducks or geese or whatever. A drake. Oh well. And travel. Right. Well, actually, I'm going to hold off going there because. If my ability to grasp is fucked, I'm basically defenseless. 
somewhere around here there is a town but I don't see it if I remember correctly it was on this river which I don't remember I don't even know if that's a river or if it's a road you can't really tell when it's night time oh, I was nearby it anyway I was in the middle of a triangle of three towns <laughs> right let's see if I'm any better health the ability to grasp lost now fuck so that means next encounter I'm probably gonna die yep I can't hold anything I've got to start throwing things best stock up on rocks then <laughs> right, I've discovered a river, which I totally didn't know was here because I've never visited this town before. So the way to get over a river is to fast travel, which is actually going to be removed the f that, uh, in later, in the next release. You're going to make it so you have to locate a bridge or some sort of crossing that you kind of just fast travel straight over the river. Alright, so lie on the floor. Let's talk to him. Report successes. Spread news. Not only Segal Camerons, but Memma Hot Princess. <laughs> You've got to feel sorry for them. I mean, that, no wonder they've turned a bandit you with a surname like that. They'll get no respect off anyone. Alright, join. And. Let's sleep until dawn. Oh, I can't believe I've lost fucking ability to grasp. Fucking booming. Nice to stay for a day. Right. This is in all likelihood gonna be the penultimate episode. Because I'm gonna definitely gonna die soon now that I can't actually kill anyone. So that for all intents and purposes, I am now a turtle. I can only defend. Right, so I will see you in the next episode where I'll probably die. So until then, farewell.